Hi everyone. Welcome to Information Technology Channel. In this video, I'm gonna teach you, or show you of how to connect to, TP-Link Wi-Fi routers. This is very easy and quick, friends. So now, let's start. The reasons, you might want to add a new router to your existing router, is to have more great featured settings, like you want to limit, other users bandwidth. Parental control, QoS, and etc. that your current router cannot provide to you, or you might want to add a new router, to place it in other location. The most easiest way to connect this to router using Ethernet cable or LAN cable. Since I already configured my first TP-Link Wi-Fi router, which is now currently connected on my ISP modem. In the second TP-Link Wi-Fi router, before we connect this using Ethernet or LAN cable, we need to configure it first. Just what I did, in my first TP-Link router. I'm gonna show you now, of what you need to configure. First, power on your TP-Link Wi-Fi router. Then connect your PC to your router using LAN cable or Wi-Fi. You can also configure your router using your phone. But for this video, I'm gonna do this on my laptop. Once you're connected, open your favorite browser now. Type this default IP address. You can also see it at the back of your router. There are three things, usually we need to configure in every new router. The first one is, Wi-Fi name or SSID. The second is, Wi-Fi password. And the third is, your router user account password. But, before we do that, let us change our router IP address. My first TP-Link router IP address is 192.168.0.2. On my second TP-Link router I will set the IP address as 192.168.0.3. First, we need to do this because, we need to have a specific IP address in every router. So we can easily access it using the IP address we assign. And you can also disable the DHCP of this router. If you want to use the DHCP of your first TP-Link Wi-Fi router. To change the IP address of your router. Just select the network option, and now select LAN option. Once you are here, you can now change the IP address of your router. After you change the IP address of your router, you may now change your Wi-Fi name or SSID. To change it, just go to wireless option. Once you are here, you may now create or change your Wi-Fi name. In any name you want. To change Wi-Fi password, just select Wireless Security option. Once you are here, you may now create or change your Wi-Fi password. In any password you want.
To change the router user account password, just go to System Tools option. And select Password. Once you are here, you may now create or change your router username and password account. Then save. Once you're done configuring TP-Link Wi-Fi router, you can now connect it on your first TP-Link router using Ethernet or LAN cable to have internet connection or to make it connected. You may now plug in the Ethernet or LAN cable in any of these four LAN ports on your first TP-Link router. On your second router, plug in the Ethernet or LAN cable on one port. Your two routers are now connected. You may now put it in any place you want. Remember, you need an Ethernet or LAN cable to make it connected. So now, let's try friends. That's it for this video guys. If you like this video, please, do not forget to like, share and subscribe.